fish was so fun to catch on this light tackle. Well, this is pretty cool. What's going on y'all? Captain Carr here. Welcome back to the channel. Back out here at a Dolphin Island, Alabama. Got the homeless guy with me again, Tanner Dees with Dolphin Island Fishing on Instagram. If y'all haven't checked him out, I'll uh, put a link down to it in the description below. But we're back out here in the blackjack. It's a little bumpy, a little choppy, but nothing this boat can't handle. We're gonna be fishing this rig right here for some jumbo Spanish mackerel. I was out here yesterday and we were catching some hosses out here with some live shrimp and free lines. I'll kind of go over my setup a little bit later in the video. Are you already hooked up? <laughs> oh, he's got a hard tail. Don't worry about him. Good kingfish bait though. But y'all, we're fixing to get set up here. I'm gonna turn the head cam on and hopefully get on some fish. If y'all enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Let's get some fish. All right guys, so this is the setup we're gonna be using for uh, this morning here. All this is is a little free line setup with some wire, 40 pound, eight strand wire with a kale hook, with a little split shot. We're gonna be putting some of these tasty, juicy live shrimps on here. Just gonna hook them through the horn like that. And all we're gonna be doing is just kind of chunking it out towards the rig here. Hopefully the hardtails don't get to the shrimp before the Spanish do. Make sure this drag's set. We're already getting bit. Oh, there he is. That ain't no hardtail. I don't think. <laughs> First cast out here. And we're on. Feels like a pretty decent one. Woo! God! Better loosen that drag a little bit. You on? There he is. That's what we want. Oh! Hold it. That. little pro tip here y'all these fish are bloody so we're gonna throw them just right in the box but uh yeah we might need to net him he's he's a little bit he's a good size ah, i got it go ahead and get you another bait out oh yeah good size spanish oh get in there there we go that's that's probably a two and a half three pound fish got to be super careful dealing with these fish because they have got some razor sharp teeth and they will mess you up real quick in a hurry but good hook set there oh yeah here we go y'all first fish here got to give them the death grip just so they don't wobble around and get you cut but good size spanish there Good pink, white meat. We're gonna go ahead and throw them in the box and get some more. You tell me I had a hard tail. Not a I can't, drag like that. I catch good fish. Get another cast out here. All I'm using here is a little 3,000 size spinning reel with a uh, medium action seven foot rod. You don't have to have anything special to come out here and do this. Just something that can handle these fish. You do hook a decent size one. I'm just gonna keep this bell open. Let that shrimp kind of do its own thing and hopefully one of them big Spanish will find it. I apologize for the loud noise. These rigs are super loud and uh, pretty chaotic at times. We've got a crew boat over here kind of stirring the water up. There's about six boats here, so people must know there's some fish here, which is fine. There's plenty to catch. They done got my shrimp. So that right there, if y'all don't know, is a hardtail, also known as a blue runner, also known as beautiful amberjack or kingfish bait. Premium. We'll probably throw him back. We're not gonna go out far enough to be able to use one that size. Let me show you how it's done, okay? See, it's all about how you hold your mouth. You gotta hold it just like that. 
<laughs> oh, it came off. Show me one more time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Just like that. That's how you got to hold it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's a decent one. These fish are so powerful, so strong for their size. They're basically a small king mackerel. Super fun to fight on these light trout setups that we've got here. Another decent one. Wanna go ahead and net them for me there? There we go, get in the net. Yeet. What? What? You're fired. Heck yeah. Stud. Hammer. Stud. That's going to be a good fish taco. Oh, yeah. I like to grab him right here behind the head, give him the death grip. Go ahead and get this hook out. Here in the early spring and pretty much throughout the summer, these fish are prevalent at these rigs and near shore structures. And, uh, but you gotta watch out because juvenile king mackerel come in here as well and they can be mistaken for Spanish. But if you notice, the lateral line on these fish are more straight. A king mackerel will have a slight drop in the lateral line. And then also Spanish have a black dorsal fin right there. So that's two ways to tell if you have a Spanish or a juvenile king mackerel. Go ahead and get him in the box. Tanner's on the struggle bus over here. You got the same hook. It might be uh, broken or something. Might need to take it back. Oh! <laughs> it's a hard tail though, I think. Yep. No? Uh, okay, a little bit smaller size Spanish there. We'll throw him back. Hey, you got a decent one. Okay, let's let's see the yeet. Whoa! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Don't try that at home, folks. <laughs> I rated a seven out of ten. Seven, I guess. Seven. It it, it could have been better. All right, let's throw out at the same time and see who can get them first. One, two, three, go. <laughs> get him. Oh, there he is. Hot action right now. Oh, he's swimming to me. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh. Ah, he's kind of small. We'll throw him in the box. I mean, I say small, but like, it's a good fish. All right, rate my yeet. Oh, wait, that didn't count. <laughs> yeet! That's, that's a solid nine. That dude is lethal with them teeth, son. They would mess your day up. Let's grab the handy dandy net. See if I can help you out here. Hot action. Hot. <laughs> Hot. Spicy. <laughs> He's a smoker. On the chop <laughs> Yeah. That's the best part about it. So far. Come on. Jumbo, jumbo. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you need to get a picture of that one, son. That is a hoss. <laughs> one thing you gotta keep in mind with these fish, they're very bloody. They will dirty a boat up very quick. So about every 10 minutes, we're getting the wash down hose and just spraying it down. Hold that sucker up. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So obviously, if we were to throw out spoons or gotchas or something shiny or even troll around this rig, we would probably have the same results. But this is a little more fun in my opinion. Uh, but you know, of course, if you don't have live shrimp, like I said, you can just troll some lures and probably get the same results. But I have noticed I'll catch bigger fish uh, free line these live shrimp versus doing that. Either method will work. Yep, that's the Spanish. That's the Spanish. A Spaniard. The old Spaniard mackerel. Baby. Compared to what we've been catching. Actually, no, that's not a bad one. I would hate to be a live shrimp around one of these rigs. Wind is kicking today, y'all. A little sporty out here. Hopefully it'll calm down a little bit later for the ride back in. But great thing about fishing these near shore rigs is we're not very far. I mean, we could be at the island in 15 or 20 minutes if we had to be. We're supposed to have some storms coming through a little bit later this afternoon. Come on, finish it off. Finish it. Get him. Aha, he came back. Gotcha! <laughs> Man! Feels like we got some giant trout on these rods here. Fish are so fun to catch on this light tackle. Oh, there's a shark. There's a shark. He's after it. He's after it. Ah! <laughs> Open that box for me there, sir. Let's get a good yeet in the in the ice box. One, two, three, go! Ah! Oh, almost landed it. It's a healthy looking box, right? Some good tacos. Tacos and fish dip, baby. You want to give him a kiss? No. He's gonna bite me. Spanish need loving too. Uh oh. Y'all, I had a croaker out the back free line. I don't know what it is. Might be a giant Spanish. Might be a snapper. Never know. Might be a barracuda. If it's something with teeth, I wouldn't be surprised if he cuts me. Ah, it's a shark. Dang it. Bigger than the left. That's that one that was chasing the Spanish earlier. No good. Best thing to do with these is grab that knife, cut that hook, because I do not like messing with sharks. Got one? In here. First fish on the new Saragosa that I bought at Bama Beach Bum Outdoors. Shout out if y'all haven't checked out the tackle shop over there in Orange Beach. Y'all definitely should. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Get real close to the hook and pop it just like that. That hook will rust out in a few weeks. <laughs> oh, is it? See, we can hand feed them. <laughs> All right, I better put this knife down. <laughs> Y'all, we just pulled in close to the island. I marked a bunch of bait on my sounder. Came back to check it out. That's a big old school of sharks. We're hand feeding them. <laughs> this, these frozen bonita. Awesome. <laughs> there we go. So this is pretty cool. I feel like we're in the Keys or something. Hey, be ready there. There might be a Dan Kobe or something with them. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're everywhere. <laughs> Watch this. 
They're about to go crazy. Meow! <laughs> oh, it sank. Come on, buddy. You want some? Oh, whoa, he grabbed it. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, thank you. Got him <laughs> I'll come back and get seconds. <laughs> Golly, that's so cool. Tearing that thing up, dude. Hey, you want to go for a swim? <laughs> nah. All right, y'all, we're back at the fish cleaning table now. Unfortunately, we had to cut our fishing trip short. We had some really gnarly weather rolling in, so we just went ahead and put the boat on the trailer. Came back to the house here. We're gonna clean one of these Spanish mackerel up real quick. I wanna show you how quick and easy these fish are, especially when you have a good sharp knife like these sword knives. Y'all, I've been using these knives for a year now and uh, super happy, super impressed with them. They've been through hundreds of fish, a lot of those being sheep's head on my sheep's head charters, and uh, they just hold an edge like no one's business. So if y'all are looking for some quality knives for yourselves to last you for years, definitely should go check them out. I'll have their info down in the description below. But uh, yeah, like I said, just quick and easy, simple. Start right here at the head. We're just gonna make one simple cut all the way down and it's done. Flayed, just like that. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over, do the same thing. You do gotta keep in mind, you wanna clean these fish when they're fresh, because if you let them sit for too long, their meat will get mushy, and that's why I recommend eating these fresh, as fresh as you can. Kinda mess that one up. There we go. And that's it. And so here's our two fillets here little pinkish meat to them and then all we're going to do is take this skin off real quick use our knife run it along that skin i like to leave a little bit of meat on the skin that way you don't have to cut off as much red and that's done i'm going to cut this stomach off there's one go ahead and do the same thing on the other one Leave just a little bit of meat on that skin. Wiggle it back and forth. There we go, quick and easy, two Spanish mackerel fillets. I think it may have took me a minute to clean that fish and take the skin off. I've got two or three more to clean up for myself and some friends and family we're gonna cook up tonight. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned a little something. I know me and Tanner had a blast out there catching these fish for the short period of time we were out there and then also having some fun with those sharks. But y'all drop a comment down below what y'all would like to see next. We've got all kinds of opportunities for different different types of fishing this year. Uh, I mean, mangrove snapper fishing, king fishing, going out deep, deep dropping and stuff. I just kind of get overwhelmed of what uh, y'all want to see and what I want to go out there and record. So I'd love to get some feedback. Until next time, y'all stay safe. We'll see you on the next one.